Hey everybody, Jeff here with the Embroidery Nerd, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Happy Land, what it is, what you can do with it, and how I use it day to day. Let's get started. So I wanted to go over some of the things in Happy Land, um, kind of give you guys an overview of what the pro program is, how it's used, how I use it, and the features that I really like. So to start off, Happy Land is a uh, network interface for a Happy Embroidery machine. You can see that I have one machine right here listed. This is the one that's connected. It's the one that's sitting behind me. In order for it to be connected, my machine has to be on, so it's on if you hear a little bit of background noise. Okay, so there's not a lot that happens until we go and we export a file. So I'm going to export my file, this one here, and it's going to put it in a folder that is um, set up for receiving the files. So basically I'm just saving it at a specific location. And Happy LAN reads from that location. So then I can come up here and I can go to Pattern and there is my file. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. And um, we're gonna look here for a little bit. So we have logs that we can pull. Okay, basically power on, power off, that kind of stuff. We have detailed logs or log messages, I guess. Um, we can go, let me see here, there's a way. Yep, detailed history. So we can really get into the history of the machine. And it's going to take it a second because it is reading all of this from the controller behind me. You're getting, you're hearing the machine beep a few times. That's what it's doing. So, you know, a lot of nice reports in here. You can see like the exact runtime, how many, how it paused. So we can come over here. We can see, you know, a runtime ratio, uh, power off time, power productivity per hour, that kind of stuff. So all that's measured in the machine. I like to clear those out every now and again. Um, the other thing here is we can go into operate mode. Now in operate mode, there's not a ton we can do, um, but there is a little bit. So if we look over here, we can tell it to frame out on a specific color. So if we forget to put our applique stop in, we can do that. Um, we can kind of offset. Mm, I don't really use that to be honest with you. I don't really repeat them in the hoop here. I like to do that on the machine and the same as here for adjustments. I really like to do this kind of stuff on the machine when I'm looking at the machine. It helps me make some of those decisions. Um, here again, this is we're setting our needle colors. And right now the design that we have loaded only has one uh, color in it, the one on the machine, not the one that I just sent to the folder. Um, but what I like to use this one for here is I can pull up here in pattern and we'll wait a little bit and you can see all of these. These are all designs that are on my machine. I can select them and I can delete them off of my machine. So I'm able to remove designs off of my machine that I don't want on my machine anymore. And um, it's kind of nice to be able to do that from here. It's a little bit easier to do it on the machine itself, but if I'm over here and I'm getting an error because I have too many designs on my machine, I can delete them out of the machine here. I can also rename them, select them. Um, I don't really use this too much. Uh, you know, like origin, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really going to do this type of stuff on here, but it's nice to have that option. Mainly what I use this for is for my pattern. So I click on my pattern setting and I'm going to grab the design and I'm going to hit pattern setting again. And now we have our design pulled up here and we can do some stuff to it before we send it to the machine. When I export this out of Wilcom, generally it comes into happy land and it's not necessarily the color that I need it. And so I'm going to go in and I change some of the aspects of my design while I'm right here. So let's pull this up here. Right now we've got our design. It's showing it's centered. This is not to the machine yet. This is still on my local computer and we can do things like this. We can set our color changes. Now I can change the color of every one of these if I really want to. I can click on it and I can hit the little palette and I can change it. Okay. The only ones that I keep true to the colors that are on my machine are these four right here. Because on needle 15 I have black, needle 14 I have white, needle 13 I have flag blue, and needle 12 I have flag red. So those are the four that I always leave on my machine all the time. And so I change those colors to reflect that. The rest of these, they're just arbitrary assignments. 
I look at my machine, I know what colors I have on which needle, and that allows me to go in and set my needle sequence, or my um, sewing sequence. So I'm gonna pull Wilcom up over here, I'm gonna raise that up there, and we're gonna bring Happy Land back up. So we can see that our first line is, and we'll click on number one, it's white. And then our second one is a green, but it's ap actually applique stop, so that's gonna be white. And then we're gonna go for a light blue, which is on needle three. I had to turn around and look, it's sitting behind me. And then we're going to go with white again. And gray is on needle eight. And that kind of tan is on needle four. Over here I've got red, and then white, and then black, okay? So that just sent, set all of my needle, my needle stops, or color sequence. That's the word I was looking for. So I just set my color sequence here. Now I can add some things to this if I wanted to, like right here I could tell the machine I want it to stop after that. So like if I was doing a 3D puff design, I can say, hey, stop after you do this, this aspect, and then I want it to, uh, so I can lay the foam down, then I'll hit start again. You can do that there. You can kind of slow it up or slow it down a little bit if you want to, okay? So I'm gonna hit okay, and you're gonna see that these colors kind of changed, and that's, they changed based off of the selections that I put here. You can see that that is saved with it, okay? So the other things that I can do here is I can, again, modify it a little bit. Um, I can repeat it in the hoop. And again, I like to do that on the machine because it's when it's on the machine, there's less of a chance that um, I'm going to make a mistake. I can I have that visual feedback. So um, I like to do that on the machine. Now, we can come over here and it's an offset. But this is one that I do use. So I come here and this allows me, like if I'm doing applique, this is where I can set my frame out. So I can say, okay, that's going to be my tack down or my placement stitch. I want to frame out after that. So then I can lay down the applique and I can put it down and hit the start button and it'll go. Okay, so that is one that I use here and that's listed under here. I can do simple edits. I don't really like to do simple edits in here. It's nice to have the um, capability, but it's not necessarily something that I use. And editing is finished editing. So now we'll bring it back up, right? I can change my color cloth. This is gonna be the background in here. It doesn't really do anything for me. Again, I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can save the pattern, which it's already saved. I can print it if I wanted to and show needle points and show jump lines. So right now I can turn off my jump lines, you're not gonna see it. I can turn on my needle points, you're gonna see needle points, right? So those aren't necessarily anything that is um, overly beneficial. Now, the thing that I really, really like is this button right here, and I can do it from here, previous window, and we'll do it that in a second. I can hit send, this is the machine that I set up in the software, so I can select it and I can hit send. And you can hear that beeping going on behind me. That is the design transferring from my computer to the embroidery machine. And it's beeped a couple of times. And I look over there and now I can see that it's on my screen. I can see that that design is loaded. And since we've already set the color sequence in this software, um, the only thing that I really need to do is I just need to go over to the machine and I need to hit the start button to, or not the start button, I, I should trace it, do the trace, and then I can hit start. I don't have to worry about setting the color information. So that's really, really nice. Now, if I wanted to send the design from here, I can. I just select it and I can hit the send and it does the exact same thing. So again, we can do that there. And now we get put back here into this window right here. Now. This window gives us a little bit of information while it's embroidering. And this is one thing that I really, really like. Um, it would be a lot more useful if I didn't sit directly in front of my embroidery machine. If I was in another room, for instance, it would be very helpful. What this does is this kind of gives up here when the machine is running, it kind of gives me a layout of what's happening. Um, this will be a progress bar that shows the progress. And sometimes the picture loads and sometimes it doesn't. So it's kind of nice to watch that and have that visual feedback that, you know what, yes, it is sewing. Oh, hey, there's a problem. It stopped, whatever. That's, this kind of gives us an indication of how our machine is doing while our machine is running. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn off my mic so that you guys don't have to listen to it. 
and I'm going to hoop up some fabric and I'm going to hit the start button so that we can see a little bit of what's going on here. Okay. And there we go. You can see that it's done. Um, it basically just went back to like the beginning where it would want to sew another one. And it went fairly well. I have one uh, tie in that didn't tie in. So the needle popped out of the thread. But as you can see, that's kind of how I use Happy Land. It's nice to have it up as a little marker. Um, I have it available on more than one computer so I can look at that um, from a different room when I go into a different room. Uh, I have, I can also watch this too. So that pretty much concludes the tools that I use. There's, you know, a few, you can um, import a couple of designs together and lay them out. The window, uh, you know, there's not too much more here I use uh, other than occasionally I'll go into the, um, the environment options. Now it's on normal, I can change it to land monitor and you can see that it just added just a little bit more information down here on the bottom which isn't necessarily needed considering, you know, that's my IP address scheme and all that fun stuff. And then of course the number of stitches. So that's the only difference I found in the environmental options between um, the basic setting, not basic setting, mode, normal and land monitor. So it really depends. Sometimes I have land monitor up. I think I'm just gonna leave it up for fun. And sometimes I take it down. Hopefully that helps you out with happy land. If you were looking for an installation video, we'll go ahead and link that down in the comments. As always, if you enjoy our content, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and check us out on other social media options.